Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned in my previous video, or is it the two videos? The previous two videos, right? Uh, I wanted to show you guys what I eat in a full day. Because someone asked me, what do I eat to lose weight? So obviously I have to count my calories, make sure I'm within my calorie range for the day intake. And so I will be showing you what, what I ate for breakfast, lunch and dinner and I'm going to be making all of it for you guys to see um, so let's get into the and before we get into the video make sure you click the subscribe button according to one youtuber he said destroy the subscribe button make sure you go destroy the subscribe button and let's get into <laughs> This is oatmeal and I poured almond milk so I'm going to just pour this is my oats So all I have in here is milk and oats and a pinch of salt, of course. So what I want to achieve, you know, those Instagram pictures where you find, you know, some oats that they've designed. It has nice colors. There's blackberry, there's strawberry color, and there's oats in there. That's exactly what I'm trying to achieve. Mmm. So I have that and I'm going to mash it. So this is some um, blackberries and that's raspberries. Raspberry in here. As you can see, I'm just trying to slowly uh, put in the cooked oats into this without, without smudging it all over the, the glass, the cup. So guys, I'm going to make it, to be making scrambled eggs. So I'm just going to pour some whole milk in here and I'm going to break some eggs and add eggs in. I just grab my rice crackers and I'm going to top it with the scrambled eggs and avocado. So that's it for my breakfast. I love the pre presentation. It's really cute. It's how I wanted it to turn out. So this is the scrambled egg with two rice crackers and avocado, slices of avocado. Altogether, this breakfast is about 400 calories, and this is well within my uh, allocated calorie for my breakfast because I take 120 calories per day.
it's not complicated it's just oatmeal you boil it i like my oatmeal warm so I so let me taste my breakfast So hi guys, I'm going to be showing you a dish that I will be making. It's called Moi Moi in Nigeria. This is beans and it's going to be, it's actually very vegan friendly, vegetarian and I don't have time to make it every time. So, uh, but this, for this video, I wanted to actually make it. So it's basically black eyed beans that has been peeled. I just wanted to cut down the process of uh, preparing it. This is why I went to buy straight up the peeled version and buy this one directly. So this is black eyed beans that has been peeled off. Now what you have to do next is um, you soak it. So this is a bowl of water and I'm going to just put this in there and forget about it. It soaks in two, three hours. It will be, it will be good. But um, yeah, so I'm just So I've just got the beans, it's soaked and I'm about to rinse it, well I'm rinsing it to just get rid of all the remaining coating that is in there that is not so visible to the eyes. So yeah, just rinsing it a few times and prepping it for blending. So I have uh, made bell peppers i have like a small to medium size bell pepper just one and i will add onions i will add a scotch bonnet and i will So over here, I just wanted to bring it closer. So I have one uh, onion, the bell peppers that I have sliced, and I have like three scotch bonnets. Is that what you call it? So peppers, these are spicy ones. And you can put it in the oven, but I prefer to have mine steamed. So I will be showing you. So what's next is you can season your blended beans according to how you want it. So I will be add so I'll be adding this one is the Nor brand. I don't know how you pronounce it. I pronounce it as Nor. Some people say Knorr. Um, so I'll be adding that into it, and then I will be adding. A drop of palm oil this has gotten a, a, a lot of backlash lately palm oil if you watch uh, blue therapy Paul Paul has given this a lot of backlash but I'm going to use it anyway um, I've always had palm oil in my soup in Niger Nigerian soup we use palm oil um, but I am aware it, to some extent that it's not healthy but I cannot really tell you why it's not healthy apart from calories obviously it has calories so i'm just going to be using a drop of it so i 
I have had this on for like 45 minutes, left it to steam, and now it's ready. I just wanted to bring it closer so you see what the texture looks like uh, just after bringing it out from the fire and it's still very soft uh, once it starts getting cool when it cools down it hardens up even more So here is the ripe plantain. So um, I wanted to do this spiral shape and you just stick in um, skewer sticks in the middle uh, and then you start cutting it just like you see. It's, I'm not sure I can explain this. So in the spiral way. So it's a continuous cut and then you get the skin out. I find it that it's way easier to achieve the spiral uh, thing when you have the skin on um, first was cutting the spiral shape. If you remove the skin, it will be a bit too soggy um, because it's ripe, it will be harder. So I find it easier to do whilst the skin is still on cutting the spiral shape. So it's time to fry the plantain. So you just add vegetable oil in the pan and preheat the oil to, you know, somewhere medium, not too hot. And then you start frying the plantain. And as you can see, I'm putting both of them in. And I will start turning them as soon as possible so I don't over cook it on one side I want them to have almost uh, even uh, color around so that's it as you can see I molded the moi moi into a heart shape it's very easy to do when it's still hot because when it's cold it gets tricky so yeah looking pretty this is how I like it this is the lunch and this lunch it's about 600 calories because it's fried plantain um, and moi moi. I'm making edamame, which is basically soy beans um, and chicken, boiled or grilled chicken. So this edamame, you can use anything you have. You can use any greens, green peas. Um, broccoli whatever vegetable you have I'm just steaming this this is what I have at home it's um, frozen and and uh, yeah steaming it leaving it for some time and then I'm gonna uh, make my I'm going to prep this chicken I'm just drizzling some olive oil over it I'm going to be measuring 60 to 70 grams per portion of chicken breast so I'm making all of this now but I will be um, doing meal prep so it's not I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna eat all of it at once so I'm just gonna chuck this into the oven leave it to cook and 
it's going to be like I said I will have for my dinner just 60 grams of chicken which is uh, this is it and then a bit of edamame so this is only a uh, hundred and twenty uh, calories 